Okay, ready or not, here I come! Yup, it's bread week, and we're just playing a quick game of hide and seek. Shh. Hmm, I know where to check the bread bin! Ho <laughs> ho! I found you! <laughs> oh man, welcome to the Great Bible Bake Off! <laughs> Hello, and welcome back to the Great Bible Bake Off, where Judas, John, and Peter are each competing to become our star baker. This week is bread week. Dan would like to see you making some bread and integrating it into a lovely treat. Now, remember when Jesus shared bread and wine with you before he was killed on the cross, and he told you to eat that meal in memory of him. Yeah, the very first communion. That's why we want to see a bread-inspired bake. You have six hours to make your beak on your marks. Get set. Bake. Last week, I tried to bake Inspired Boy America. Now, I didn't win with that one, but it has inspired me. And I'm continuing my around the world inspiration with an Australian themed bake. Peter, what are you going to make for us? I'm going to go for a bread-based treat that they have at Australian kids' birthday parties. It's called fairy bread. <laughs> oh, that sounds fun. What will it be made of? So, I'll be making a fresh bread, and then you add butter, which of course I'll churn myself, right? Followed by a bunch of sprinkles on top. Oh, that's so cute! I don't think we realised at the time what the importance of this meal was. That it was the last meal we'd eat with Jesus before he was crucified. He was saying all these big things about us remembering him, and how the wine that we drank represented his blood. I didn't know what that meant at the time, thought it was a bit weird. But when he was killed on that cross, it suddenly all made sense. I mean, who is this guy that knows the future? He must be the savior. He must be the Lord. John, what are you going to be making? Yeah, I'm going for a British classic. It's the humble iced bun. Fantastic. Well, what type of bread are you going to make? Yeah, it's going to be a bit of a brioche style roll. Delicious. It is a weird one to make because, it, well, it was a happy occasion, us all eating a meal together, but it had this sort of hint of sadness at the same time. And it's also happy because Jesus rose from the dead and, well, it's hard to know how to feel, really. Judas, what about you? Well, I'm going to make my signature bread. Well, great. I'd love to try it. Okay, so first step is the bread, of course, and it's currently, I've popped it in the proving drawer, right? And time is the name of the game here. The longer it can prove, the more the bread will rise and the more evenly distributed the air pockets inside are softer, more delicious bread. Bread is actually really hard to make. I've just been kneading the dough, which is where you like push your fingers in there at your vests. And it actually reminds me of a joke. Why did the baker have brown hands? Because he needed a poo. <laughs> needed a poo. He needed a poo. Needed a poo. Hmm. Of course I'm not worried about making bread. It's easy. Bakers, you have three minutes left. Three minutes to finish your bake. In other words, get your bread out of the oven quick. Right, let's have a look at how my roll turned out. Great. That's gone really well. Oh, it feels nice and soft. Right. It looks decent. I mean, it could be a bit better. But it's not burnt and it's not, well, it's not completely dry. Oh, uh, right, yeah, I just brought a loaf of bread from the shop. That's fine though, right? I'm gonna butter it myself. <laughs> this is such an easy task. Okay, my bread is really soft because I proved it for a long time, but now the price I pay is I need a really quick turnaround with this icing. So I've got water in a bowl. I'm gonna add some icing sugar uh, to make the icing for on top. And I've gotta get the consistency right. Not too runny, not too dry. Great, this is coming along well. This is coming along well. Right, quickly now then, butter the bread and then add sprinkles to the top. <laughs> Little dinosaur sprinkles. Okay, on we go. Yeah. Now the icing's on the bread, a few sprinkles for good measure. In we go. Lovely. Bakers, your time is up! <laughs> okay, Judas, your first. May I present to you bread? <laughs> okay, just bread and butter. That's a classic. Let me have a go. That's pretty average, and it's fairly dry. Could have used some more time in the proving drawer, but hey, good attempt, Judas. Dan, look what I found. It's a packet of bread from the shop in Judas's bin. What? So you cheated, Dan, and you didn't even buy nice bread from the shop. 
You did brown bread. That was your first mistake. Yes, brown bread is the worst. And that's the cheapest brown bread that the shops sell. You, you mean I'm not allowed to do that? Well, and of course I bought the cheapest bread. I'm not made of money. John, let's see how you got on. Well, yeah, of course, you got it. Okay. Oh, it looks pretty good. Let me have a try. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. That is nice. A sweetness to the bread and super light and fluffy. That is great stuff, John. Oh, thanks, Dan. Peter, I'm intrigued and I'm interested to try this fairy bread. Yeah, they love it in Australia. See what you think. Okay, I get the concept. That's kind of quirky. Let's have a try. Hmm. Your bread's a little bit on the dry side. I reckon a touch longer in the proving draw and thus would be absolutely perfect. But you know what? I don't mind that. That's quite nice. Thank you, Baker. Some incredible loaves of bread. But we can only have one star baker. And this week, the star baker is... Oh, man. Oh. It's John. <laughs> Woohoo! Again, yeah! Yeah, I'm really happy with that. Peter is getting better and better every week. He hasn't burnt anything in ages. I'm really having to pull out all the stops just to beat him.